What's up guys and welcome back to my channel In today's video I have some guests I met a little while ago Alright, before we dive deep into the video, I'd like to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Kazman Lodge in Livingston. Yes, take a look at the beauty of the room where I am right now. These are some of the rooms you have at Kazman Lodge here in Livingston. So rooms, there are rooms for $17, rooms for $29, and rooms for $70. So next time you are in Livingstone, come and enjoy the same way I have enjoyed Kazmen Lodge. Also, please comment down below and thank Kazmen Lodge for hosting your brother Travotainment. Let's get back to the video. Hari Mwanga, Kumbula International Airport. Livingstone's Hari Mwanga, Kumbula International Airport. Back to my channel in today's video i'm at the livingstone's hari mwanga nkumbula airport just take a look there is one plane i've only seen one i also saw a small plane so you can tell this is uh, hari mwanga nkumbula international airport bz-8 whatever yeah so i was thinking and then today so at the airport, guess whom I have met finally again? Here we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have Madame Michi, the unapologetic nomad. Say hello to the people. Please say hello to... Did you hear? Uh, then we have Ella, the artist. <laughs> my favorite of this group. <laughs> I'm very biased. I love Ella, the artist. She's a superstar. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And we have the himself. man himself. That's right, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know who it is, man. Uh, people need to fix your faces, man. We out here, family. Make sure you uh, 
Get that crust out your eyes, family. Uh, get your lips straight, family. We out here, man. Yeah. You know, I love these people so much. Uh, I met them, uh, I mean, over a month ago, I met them. Uh, I, I met them over a month ago when they came. They came in Zambia, and uh, it was the first time I met them. I just loved their vibe, their strength. We did one video with them, so that's why today it's been over a month, and I want to know how they are doing. So I'll start with you. <laughs> All right. How has um, been your one month, more than a month in Zambia? Zambia is amazing. Mm -hmm. And I think what makes it amazing is the people, number one. Okay. Um, it, it's just so calm, peaceful, uh, so much to do and see. It's a beautiful country. I think it's a hidden gem. I really wow. think so. Okay. Um, we're still exploring and seeing so many it's different things. exploring. Still. I like that. And the people are so warm and inviting. And uh, mm -hmm. they make sure you're good. You got what you need, <laughs> you know where you're going. This is this in the violence, well. gun culture, oh, no, 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 whatever. No, very uh -huh. peaceful. Okay. I give it a, 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 a 10 on the peaceful scale. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. um, it's, the food is good. Um, I'm addicted to Ashima now, so wherever mm. I go, I got to you know, bring, bring a bag of Ashima so my wife can cook it. Uh -huh. um, I love the, the people, definitely. Yeah. Everybody's so nice and so inviting and so uh -huh. easy going. Um, <clears throat> I, I can't say nothing negative. I don't. Somebody was asking us like, why you always say positive stuff? Jose, positive. why don't you go for the negative? <laughs> when I think, I can't think of nothing. The only thing I can think of probably is that at night sometimes it's cold. Yeah, and, and that's that's all I can think of. Family. I want you to tell you, you are a, you are the weatherman. I, I tell the people that that's the weatherman. He can tell you. He can determine the weather. Look in the skies. He will tell you. Yeah. <laughs> How has it been the past, like, is it three weeks or two weeks now? Have you noticed how the weather has drastically changed? Yes, yes, the uh, weather, yeah. So, uh, within the last couple of weeks, the weather has really, like, dipped down. At least uh, on the average, because on the average, it was around, like, 84 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around, like, 24, 25 mm -hmm. degrees mm -hmm. Celsius. <laughs> now, it's, like, down to 21 degrees Celsius. Especially at, at night. At night time, it dips down to like 14, 11 degrees. <laughs> yeah, it, gets, it gets a bit nippy out here at night. Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. How was it? You changed location a little bit. You changed, You went to um, Copper Belt. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. What, what did you notice as a difference between Copper Belt and uh, Lusaka? Um, when you live the difference early. between the copper belt and the soccer, uh, and the uniqueness, uh -huh. um, I can't really say. We, when we were in the copper belt, we didn't really explore too much. Too we much. Realized, we didn't have you know, so like, much time. Yeah, it was like three days, I believe. So it was real fast. Mm -hmm. But um, definitely a place I like to go back and stay a little longer. Yeah. And see what's going on. But um, they do have the small the malls and everything. And oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. pretty similar to me. Wow. Pretty similar. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. And then Livingstone, in a specific... I know you've not been so long as well in Livingstone. Yeah. But have you noticed the, any differences between Livingstone and Lusaka? Yeah, Livingstone is definitely... It's a lot like... Uh, what can I say? Like you have the falls, you have a lot... Like different TVGs. things to do, yeah. yeah. Oh, to do things. things. To do. Um, this town is actually a lot more. Uh, it's a lot calmer than Lusaka. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so was this Copper Belt as well. The Copper Belt was calmer than Lusaka. Oh yeah. But Lusaka's not crazy or anything. It's just you know, this is more of a city, and this is more like a town. And are you aware that Livingstone is the hottest town, one of the hottest towns we have in Zambia? It is. But now you can see the temperature. What is your experience? Oh my, the, the now temperature. The temperature. <laughs> I didn't know it, was this, it gets this cold at night. <laughs> so you almost doubt it is this Zambia. You definitely have winter temperatures. Um, mm. Like especially like right now it's comfortable. Oh yeah. Um, I think at night and early in the morning it's chilly, but it's coolest the most at night. Okay. 
You need a comforter and then a blanket on top of the comforter at night. <laughs> Tell me about the lion experience when you went to Mpuni Big Five. Oh, oh, man. Um, yes, when you went to Mpuni, because the first thing I saw when you landed in Livingstone, and also, okay, tell me about that. I'll ask you later another question. The lions I loved. <laughs> People were like nervous, I think, on the live. Oh my goodness. Um, you looked composed. Yes, I enjoyed it. Uh -huh. I know there were animals, but I, I don't know. I just didn't have any fear of the cats. I'm a cat lover. I love cats. Yes. My favorite animal is the elephant. Oh, hmm. But cats, I've always loved cats, and I think it's a big, giant cat. Yeah, you know? and now the, but I know the lion was be, like a big cat. I know cat. there's rules, so I follow the rules. <laughs> so I think you follow the rules. What's up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> but you also follow the rules when you're dealing with the big cats, the lions. The so big you just follow the rules, you know, and try not to have any fear because they can sense fear. And yes, I know yes, yes. But I love animals, my nature girl, so Whoa. that experience was amazing. It wow. just, I've never in my life come that close mm. to a, a wild animal. And be wow. able to touch the animal, really and interact with the animal. No, wow. it's my first time, and it was it was amazing. Then you also went for a game drive. Tell me about yes. the game drive now to see a little uh, bit different animals. So you know, my favorite animal is the elephant. The elephant, so the big one. There was a uh, the the big one with the horns is called the bull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the male. He protects the family. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Um, Okay, yeah. So the bull elephant, he comes up. He's <laughs> close. He's about, I don't know how many meters, maybe 50, 60 meters, maybe even 50 meters. Uh -huh. Maybe not even that. It's probably a little closer than that. I can't even, you know, maybe from where that wall is to here. He's standing, yep, from that, from that wall to here. Mm -hmm. We're in the vehicle, and everybody was like, oh my goodness, he's getting closer. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, yes, yes, come closer. So he got a little closer, uh -huh. and then I waved, and he stood there, and it's almost like he did a curtsy. It was uh -huh. weird, and then he turned and went away. And that's a wild family. elephant, not a domestic know, one, know, a wild. I know, I and know. you had the a near yeah, encounter. Near. But um, again, 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 that's my favorite animal. I love wow, animals, okay. and maybe he could feel the love. That's oh, probably what it was. Oh, I think he felt the love. Oh, no wonder, no wonder. <laughs> yeah. So you know, and, and you know, these animals sometimes they can sense oh, I know. I know. your mood. And then with the family, and the baby was there, so I know he was probably being protective of the family. Yeah, the mother, yeah, the baby's yeah. there, so he's out front, and they're like kind of back a little bit. But um, it was, it was, it was a nice. You know, animals. I feel they sense the love as well, because for mm -hmm. example, yeah, the yeah. lodge where I am, we have uh, a zebra. Oh. You know. So huh. every time, because every time when I see it, I oh, wow. sit nice, try to you not know, play with it at some distance, and ah. it has noticed my apartment, my shell. So yeah. every morning when I wake up, I find it's near. It's like it has come to greet me every morning. Ah. You know that feeling is so nice oh, when nice. I see. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's very nice. Ooh, then also now, find also yeah. tell me about the um, your experience with. Um, we also did the boat cruise. Hey. Uh -huh, on the river. So we did a base. live on that. That was the um, it was called the Lion King of Victoria Falls. Good. I went to his yes. house really? yesterday. The, yeah. the the owner of that oh, wow. the Lion King of Livingstone, that is Chief is known as the Chief Mukun. The chief, yes. Yes, yeah, so the chief. So I went to his palace yesterday. That's where I cycled from here to his place. Ah. Just where you did your thing, the yes. big five the experience, now you go like eight more kilometers, something like that. Nice, yeah. So that was very interesting, you mm -hmm. know, being on the uh, Zimbezi River. Yes, uh, it was also another memorable. It was amazing. Wow. And seeing the, um, the actual hippos in the water, they got a little nervous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hippos. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see them swimming? Yeah, they Ooh. were in there. Some yeah. of them were fighting. Um, and then we also saw the Nile crocodile. The Nile, the crocodile. Nile crocodile. So I would not suggest Ooh. swimming in that water. Uh, <laughs> stay in the boat. <laughs> stay in the boat. Otherwise, you swim and in, with enjoy the your food and your drinks on the boat and just look at the view. And then there was a, a beautiful sunset. Oh my goodness, they experienced the beautiful sunset. Wow. Did you take any photos? Did you yes, try to did. make a signal when it was going? So you watched now we, the yes. sunset on the waters. Yes, the Zambezi. Oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. I, that is what I wanted to hear yes. from you. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Let's hear to Ella. Ella mm -hmm. always gives you very honest <laughs> opinions. <laughs> yes. Ella, tell me, uh, what did you find interesting about Livingstone? Hmm. 
it is a very like the size of the town is small but it's nice because everything's like walking distance oh yeah it is. it's nice oh the people are nice it's like a nice happy vibe here so. oh you you see and then what was your Lion, elephant mm -hmm. experience or your wildlife experience. How did you find that one? Oh, that was fun. The lions, because I love lions. Ever since I was little, I always wanted to pet a lion. Really? So when we went with the lions, that was nice. I oh. wasn't scared. You, you, are, you are not scared at yeah. all? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. And in the park, which animal did you find interesting to watch mm, when elephant. you went for game drive? The elephant oh. and we saw giraffes also. Oh, you also saw giraffes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think last time when I went, I never saw any giraffe. Really? Oh, oh, you had the giraffe encounter. Yeah. Wow, it was nice to watch. Mm -hmm. You all saw them walking yeah, fast. Yeah, walking okay. across the path. Yeah, that was nice. Oh, okay. Then you, oh, the giraffes. Then mm -hmm. you had the elephants. Which other yeah. animal did you see? Impala. Oh, and Impala. Zebra. Yep. Oh, and the zebras as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, zebra. At least I'm happy because yeah. at my place I have them. Now they are, they are at the lodge Yeah, itself. they're very common. Yeah, they are the commonest animals I think yeah. we, we have around. Yeah. Okay. What other things did you find interesting? Any difference between Livingstone and Lusaka? Yes, yeah, very In your different. opinion. Uh -huh. I think Lusaka is much more busy. Mm -hmm. It's busier mm -hmm. than uh, Livingstone. Okay. Um, and it's bigger, of course. It seems okay. bigger, I think, in size. But then the food tell me about the food because you food guys has been are good here okay food not bad because yeah <laughs> both places have good restaurants but uh -huh. yeah if food is about equal it's good mm, okay because the, one of the things which he, okay then let's talk about people mm -hmm. uh-huh what has been your experience like because uh, have you uh, been experiencing anything like the maybe people being violent on you, the locals here in Livingstone or in Lusaka or Zambia at large? No. Really? I've never encountered anyone being violent, rude, or anything. Really. Uh huh. Or oh, that maybe people are so bad. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. No. We that haven't you. even seen any crime. Uh -oh, or the crime. So peaceful, mm -hmm. peace, yeah, peace peaceful. has been there. Yeah. Wow. No. I'm happy to hear to hear that from you because that is one of the things that people say are you sure these people they are not yeah. being humiliated in Zambia right. are you sure you these guys are comfortable yeah. and you know I saw you long time so I felt uh, let me just have some time with them wow okay it's my first time to be here at the airport as well inside yeah. I've been outside okay that's good let me show the people what we have here Button, just do that thumbs up yeah. yes <laughs> yes yeah, the numbers are going yes keep yeah. going guys yeah. just that thumb button just that thumbs up yeah. mm -hmm. the video just do yeah. the a, a shout out mm. to uh, mr. Hillary he always says it's free 
Yes, yeah, it's, like free. Yeah, it's free. free. <laughs> yeah. It's free, fam. Thank uh-huh. you. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, thumbs will work. You can use your nose or your tongue. Yeah, look to the uh, like button. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. We love you guys. And um, always, uh, definitely don't forget to check out Travel Tainment. Yes. Thank you, guys. That's one Thank word, you. Travel Tainment. Yeah. Just that, awesome. guys. Great Thank content. you. Thank you. And being YouTuber. Thank you. And, uh, Definitely, definitely check us out. Make sure you check our website, unapologeticnomads.com. Check mm. us out on Instagram, unapologetic underscore nomads. No, or on Twitter, we're unapologetic N O three. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Follow me on Instagram at a l a underscore t h e underscore artist. If you want art. <laughs> yeah. How about if I just wanna like? Because the first video we did together, I even thought. Let me go in your comment section. I said, what? <laughs> it would take me the whole day yes. before I could reach half. Yes. And then it means you will not okay. have time to, yeah. to make more content for, for yeah. you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, Bube, where can we find you at? Um, please, Travotainment is my YouTube channel. Please, Travotainment. Just that I will really appreciate. On Instagram, Travotainment vlogs, okay. yes, and TikTok travotainment vlogs, okay. yes. Yeah, so TikTok, nice. although I'm not very active, but I love. But my home is yes. YouTube. Right. Please, travotainment. Don't forget. Thank you so much. All right, we'll add all of that to the comment or description section. Yes. yes thank you guys. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, the tag one is not a busy airport. I wanted to just see. Take the the is the the takeoff. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So this place is not a very busy airport, but at least you have seen the takeoff. It's been a pleasure. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. We appreciate you, Blue Bay Travel Team. Uh, it's always a pleasure to see you. We're grateful for you. And shout out to your lovely audience as well. We definitely see your channel growing. And, and, and seeing your hard work and, and, and doing things every day and always posting, it just makes us want to continue to do it. Wow, thank you so much. And then before I go, guys, don't forget. Uh, don't just subscribe to my channel, please. These awesome guys have been telling you we're unapologetic nomads. Subscribe yes. to their channel. Before I leave Livingstone, we are going to do another video where we with them. We will do a nice one. Ella, the artist. So, and then the husband we have <laughs> Michi, the wife. Yes, a very powerful family, guys. So, we are hoping to see you soon. If I was unapologetic, I would say we are. Yeah. <laughs> no, no man. Man. <laughs>